Right, welcome back. We are looking at Dogecoin on the daily time frame. So if you guys gained any value out of the video at all, you already know what to do. If you don't, let me know why I'm a chump in the comment section. I love hearing it. Anyway, looking at Dogecoin. Not too cash money. So you did have a break of structure right there, and then you had a slight one right there, both for like different structures. I'd say this is more like a higher time frame structure that I ended up breaking right on over here and this is more of like a minor structure break either way regardless that being said so if you do end up coming back on down you're really just going to be looking to hold this again move back on up and then break past that resistance if that is unable to happen then as we have previously said we think overall this should be a more or less like a continuation pattern we got to move up yada 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 but uh, if by chance we don't and we actually do end up popping back on down, then you're going to be looking for pretty much around like 10 cents, 10 cents flat. That would be um, my opinion as to like where you would find the most like strongest support that you can, seeing how that was our um, major resistance for a while. So... Uh, I'll kind of redraw right here. Uh, 0 0.10. 0 0.10. There you go. So just to clarify with that, you can see heavy resistance, heavy resistance, heavy resistance, heavy resistance. So we should, even if we were to come back down, find it as a relatively strong support. Now, that being said... Since we're not marking it off as a zone, um, that means that you could just teeter back and forth right there. We're not calling for the exact, exact price point. Um, and yeah, so that being said, that's really going to be about it overall. I would say Doge is still overall bullish, but that would be it. Obviously, if you break past 10 cents, then we do have the zone down here marked which is between about eight cents 84 and nine cents 26 is where the zone would be and further from that you just don't want to break seven cents 41 and you will be a okay um and yeah that would actually is going to be about it i don't have anything else necessarily to say as for we really have done anything for the last like couple weeks we have been sideways or actually for the last month we've just been in this like smaller range for doge although it is 10 percent, 10 percent is still a good amount but uh comparatively for like when it does get overall moves uh it, that is like more or less relatively small but uh yeah so those are the price levels that i'd look out for of course, none of this is financial advice. These are all just my thoughts and opinions. And you guys have a phenomenal day as always. Adios, muchachos.